Kisoft has come out with a new release, 032018 release, just this last week. And there are a couple of new things that we can do um, when you um, convert from 2017 to 2018 and you, and you make that um, step up. So the first thing, uh, you're going to install your software very similar to 2017. You're going to uh, install your uh, license file in the uh, license folder in the installation directory. I just have this file open up right now, and you can see this is the material database, okay? And it only goes to 19350 with the new, and it went to 19999, I think, for 2017. What we want to do now is, in your old installation, you probably had some of your own materials that you defined. And what Kissoff did in 2017 was they initially had a KDB, which is a Kissoff defined database. And then they created a UDB, which is a user defined database. So what we want to do now is we want to import all of the old database files for the materials into the new installation, 2018. And it's pretty easy to do. You go to Extras, License uh, Configuration Tool, and we have this Update Database. So what this is telling us is we can import our own data sets from older KISSOFT data. When we hit Run, it asks you to choose the KDB directory of the old version. So when we do this, we go to Program Files, x86, 2017 is the old version, and right here, all we have to highlight is this folder. All right, we select that folder. Then it says choose the UDB directory of the old version. This is the new stuff for 2017. If you have 2016 or 2015, this will not, um, I don't believe that you have that. You can update the KDB version, but not the UDB. So I say, okay, user defined database. I go back into my installation directory. And at the bottom, I have this UDB right here. See, I select that folder. And new database contains the table. Do you want to overwrite this data set? Yes. Yes, yes. I have some database sets in here. So I'm overwriting these because I actually did this once before. I just want to show you again. I think it goes. All right. So what I just did was I updated it. Because I did this once before, I got those little say, you will get this if you do it the first time. Anyways, so now I close this. And now if I open up my database file, I want to see my IDs. All right. So we go from uh, 10010. And now on the bottom, you know, before it only went to here, I had it, that's this 19350. Now these are all the materials that I had entered in here previously from a 2017 version. So now I just brought that in. And incidentally, it was asking those other materials because I had also installed um, in, in like the, the lubricants. I had this one that I installed on 2017. I can see it's here for 2018 as well. So if you have your own user defined materials. You're going to go to Extras, License Tool, oops, sorry, Extras, or just even this Configuration, Extras Configuration Tool, and you're going to run this. If you want to import your external directory, you go ahead and you hit Run, Program Files x86, go to your old directory, and you want to grab the ext folder right here. Select this folder, hit OK, hit OK, and it's updating all the, this again, DUI, DUI, so if I look at that, it's updating all of these folders right now in my EXT drive. That's what that um, little warning coming up is, or this little kiss off information. So it's doing that for the reports, doing that for all of it. Okay, that's done. I can transfer my own settings from the previous version. Um, I don't know.
don't that I have any specific settings. I don't have any. So like if you have specific uh, COM interface type stuff, you can do that. You can also transfer projects and you can connect the file extension. So if you run the file extensions, what it does is it gives you the, and you're done. So I close this and all my material data has been updated and there are, I can go ahead and open up old, older version files and I would, I would have those material, uh, materials available now and uh, it should be a seamless thing. So this is how we update our, our material data in KISSoft. If you have any questions, go ahead. You can contact KISSoft support. Um, you can go right to the KISSoft page, K KISSoft, K-I-S-S-S-O-F-T.com, and uh, there's instructions there as well. You can also go to the manual on page I-62, and it uh, goes through how to uh, import and update your, your new installation. Thanks for watching.